What's up? So I read the news, and I know what you're thinking when you see saw the title of this video. Oh, great. Not another one of these fucking videos. A celebrity died. All right. Here's the thing about Paul Walker, though. I never heard anything bad from him from the news, you know, like drug overdose, in and out of rehab, complaints from co-stars, you know, things like that. He's never said anything stupid or, or dumb or ignorant publicly. He never gotten in trouble with the law. At least I, you know, stuff like that, we don't hear about it. Uh, the thing is, though, Paul Walker, his career, I mean, what celebrities have been said, though, He's always played a very likable guy, char his character, you know? Like, just about, like, every, like almost every movie seems like, you know, from, like, Varsity Blues to, you know, at least up until now, you know, with the seventh, you know, with the Fast and Furious movies, though. And then a couple of other movies. And it just, uh, his characters, you know, and stuff, how he's a likable guy, at least how it was in real life, you know? When you watch his interviews and stuff, he was just full of life, happy, cracking jokes, you know? It was like never a dull moment, though. And I, I like, you know, like, I like that, you know, at least, like, I guess if I wanted to give a shit about a celebrity's life, though, or at least when I watch an interview, though, I like them when they crack jokes, you know, when they tell good stories and stuff, you know? It makes things kind of interesting, though. It makes you want to, in a way, get to know them, even though it kind of sounds kind of freaking creepy, though. And with Paul Walker, he just had that, uh, that uh, persona of him that everyone liked, you know? And the fact that he was going to his charity and he died in a car crash, whether you, you know, that it's just, it's just sad, though. You know, he was married, he had a, he had a da young daughter. I mean, I know people die, millions of people die every single day, though, and we don't get to hear about them on the news. But, you know, you also got to understand, though, how you leave this world, you know, how people, people are going to talk about it, you know, how you leave. What are they going to say, though? What's your status going to be like? And apparently, Paul Walker was... A, a great guy, you know, he was a lovable, caring um, guy. I mean, like, it's, if celebrities, you know, now they're going to talk about this, I guarantee you they're going to say nothing but good things to him, about him, though. Well, I mean, whoever's going to say something bad, though. I mean, I know there's some people out there that will, but it just seems like it was just good. Uh, they're just going to say porn, just good, good things. Not to mention, though, no homo here. He's a very good-looking guy, where he was, you know. When you're white, blonde hair, blue eyes, that's going to create a tension. Like, when you're just as good-looking as him, though, it's that's going to help, you know. You, you get known, well-known, in a way, though. And yeah, it just, again, it's... Uh, sucks. I mean, if it was any other certain celebrity and they died kind of differently, it probably would not have cared that much. And again, though, it's pretty much people are going to take this based on, you know, like, if they liked him as an actor or not or person. Again, though, he played likable characters, though. In interviews, he was always cracking jokes, smiling. He was full of life. Other celebrities have said nothing but good things about him, and... I mean, okay, like a friend of mine, uh, who's uh, who was that state? He because they were here, they were here in Atlanta though, you know, a couple of weeks ago, filming uh, Fast and Furious Seven though, and uh, I mean, if you go to Georgia State though, for example, you you're gonna notice. I know some people though, um, at least what they heard around that, he was this, he was this, this awesome guy to be around with though. You know, and now the fact that he's gone, it's pretty, pretty fucking depressing, though. You know, if, however you look at it. So it sucks. It does suck, though. You know, I'm sure when the seventh Fast and Furious comes out in July, though, uh, yeah, it's gonna make a lot of money at the box office, though, because people, people are people. They're gonna want to see it. I mean, we we knew what happened with Heath Ledger, though he died of a drug overdose and stuff. But, uh, hey, I mean, besides his uh, drug problems, I mean, it was his persona. 
that's that's pretty much the main thing though it's how your persona how people are going to view you though and of course with Heath Ledger he had that kind of persona though minus the dr drug problems look how the Dark Knight did the box office of that summer in 2008 and now with Paul Walker though he had that persona of, of him and yes his persona is good looks how what he did you know his, his characters and stuff in the movies those add up. That's why a lot of people are going to be talking about this. At least today and probably tomorrow. And of course, after that, we'll just forget about that shit. But, yeah, it's, uh, it sucks. I mean, it, you know, just, I know, I know death is just, it's just one thing everyone's going to, we can't avoid it. <laughs> and I know sooner or later, you're going to get to see your loved ones or people that, you know, they're going to slowly go one by one and, I mean, sooner, sooner or later, it'll be your turn on that day. But, uh, yeah, just uh, only 40 years old. It's young, gone. Too soon, too soon. Life is precious and fragile. I saw the pictures, though, and holy shit. Yeah, no one would have survived that. All right, well, that's all I got to say. See you, folks.